In this video, I'll show you how to set up via Wi-Fi your HP DeskJet 4155E with any smartphone, Android or iPhone. And I'll also show you how to print and scan wirelessly. So let's get started with the pairing. So the first step is to go on the Android Play Store or the App Store if you have an iPhone and download the HP Smart app. So just search for HP Smart and it should be this option over here. While you're waiting for the app to download, make sure that the printer is turned on and then you're gonna need to press this X button and this Wi-Fi button at the same time until the power button starts flashing. So I'll show you. Keep pressing both. Keep pressing. Okay, it starts flashing. You can now release them and the button will start um, blinking this way in just a few seconds. Let's wait. Here we go. So it stopped doing this. It means that the printer is now in pairing mode. So open the HP Smart app you just downloaded. This is the main menu screen of the app. I have already connected a printer, but in your case, if you don't have any printer, you're gonna have a button here saying add printer. If you don't see it, just press the small plus button on the top right corner once. And then in this app, you're gonna press get started, this first option. Then you're gonna select Wi-Fi continue, continue, select DeskJet 4100 series and here make sure that this network is your home network, the one you use at home or at the office if you're there and enter the Wi-Fi password of this network. Then press continue. Here you're gonna have to wait Now it will ask you to press the I button that is located over here. Just press it once and release. The setup will continue automatically on your phone. Then once you see this screen, press continue. Then you'll get this screen. It's up to you if you want to accept all. I personally value my personal information and you're not obligated to share it with HP. So I'll press decline optional data. Here again, you're not obligated to accept all these um, services that HP is trying to sell you. You can simply click on do not activate HP plus and you can look uh, later about them if you wish to subscribe. Again, decline HP plus, continue, here they will try to sell you their instant ink service, again I suggest you don't accept it now and you take the time to read about the term and condition to see if it fits you. So just press do not enable ink delivery, skip offer. Now it will tell you to load paper but you can just skip these. Press continue. Here they will ask you if you want the printer to update itself, if there is new firmware available or uh, do it manually. I always suggest auto update so I don't have to care about this. Press apply. And now you can press the skip printing page. You're not obligated to do this as well. I don't think it serves any purpose. Not right now. If there is a firmware available, it will be presented to you. Just press OK. It will auto install it. And here is the main page of the app again with all the options. If you want to use any of these, you're going to have to create an account with HP. You're absolutely obligated to be logged in and it's free by the way. 
to be able to scan, to print pictures, to print documents. This is the way HP did it. So if you don't have an account, just go over here where it says account. In my case, I'm already logged in so I can show you different features uh, of this printer. So let's get started with how to scan. So this printer has two different ways that you're able to scan a document. There's the top feeder here where you can insert multiple documents, multiple pages. You can even have, you know, as many as you want and you just glide them over here. Okay. Then take your smartphone, go down until you see printer scan, click on it. Then if you want to use the top feeder, like we just did, you're going to click on here on the top and you're going to select document feeder. Then go back here. You can select if, it, if you're scanning a picture, you better choose a better resolution at 300 DPI. And you can select if you want it to be in color or in black and white. You can go back once you set this up and press this white button here when you want to start. The printer will take each pages that you inserted here by itself. You don't need to touch anything. Just wait until it's done. I forgot to tell you, you need to place them facing up if you're using the top feeder. Once the printer is done scanning, the pages will be over here and you'll have the document presented to you. You'll have the multiple pages if you have uh, different pages uh, on the screen and you can save it, share, or you can even print if you want to do a copy by clicking on these icons below. If you want to use the scan bed, you just have to open this, place your sheet of paper facing down and align it with this corner. Just drag it there, just glide it, sorry. Okay, then close it. And same thing on the app, you're gonna press printer scan, press up here and select under source scanner glass. Then make sure that these settings are fine because depending what you're trying to scan, again, you may change the color or if you want a larger document or a smaller document here. Then go back and press the white button when you're ready. When you're done, you're gonna be presented with the scan here. Again, you can adjust the corners if you're not happy with this, then press next. And again, you'll be able to print, share, say, do whatever you want to do with what you just scanned. Now, let me show you how to print. So from here, you can go back and just say, yes, go home. Before printing, make sure that you have inserted some paper over here. Make sure that this paper tray is open. And on your phone, you're going to go down until you see print documents. If you're trying to print a picture, just select print photos. Then you'll have to select where the pictures are on your phone. In my case, it's here. And you'll have to search in your phone if they're in your documents or if they are on your, in your download folder, just select which PDF or which document to print. Then once you're here, you're going to select the print button on the lower left side. It will give you a few details here about your print. So how many copies do you want it to be in color, paper size, all these good stuff. You can even select more options and select different qualities or scaling if you wanted to make um, your print smaller. If not, just go back and when you're ready, press this blue button here. You can press not now.
And here we go. This is what we just printed. I hope this tutorial was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, write a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.